Hey everybody on YouTube, this is uh, Ken with uh, Xmods Gaming, and this is going to be uh, kind of like a uh, review. I was going to do an unboxing, but this is a review of the PlayStation 2 remote control. Um, now, the reason why this uh, has came about is uh, back in the day, you would buy a PlayStation 2 to uh, play DVDs. That was the top... Um, that would be the top reason why people bought a PS2. Um, you know, and all, all you young guys, um, you know, might not know this, but yeah, back in w when the PlayStation 2 came out in 2001, uh, DVD players were um, really a, uh, not a, not a established commodity yet. You know, DVDs uh, didn't really outsell uh, VHS tapes. At that point, uh, matter of fact, I remember um, my parents, uh, like my, my dad gave me a credit card, and he's like, hey, just go buy us a Christmas gift, because they wanted to be surprised. I was like, okay, big mistake though, because we ran out and bought a, I think it was a General Electric uh, DVD player, and it was $150 uh, back in like 2001 or 2002. Um, so when the PlayStation 2 came out, you can play video games and watch your DVD movies. Um, so that, that's why this even exists and, um, uh, still carries on actually. And I, I can always show you guys that. So yeah, I mean, it got to play button, pause, stop, menu, top menu display. You got your triangle buttons and your X and... Uh, start um, yeah your L buttons that's kind of cool uh, it says PlayStation 2 IR so it has IR built right into it original batteries so I actually got this from a, um, a secondhand store called the youth ranch or youth ranch um, yeah original batteries I might be replacing those soon uh, DVD PlayStation so it has everything that you can possibly think of. You can open up the disc tray. You can turn the, the thing on with it. Uh, it works on the fat and slim models of the PlayStation 2. Here's the box it came in. So this was un... Um, yeah, I'm sorry. This was unopened. So it was sealed. Um, and it was like five bucks. If I even... I don't think I have the price. I think I paid like five bucks on it. Uh, took a while to get around to shooting this video uh, for you. So, with that said, um, you know, uh, you know, initially that's this is why the PlayStation Two outsold the Xbox, even though the Xbox has superior graphics, um, has a faster processor. Um, it's it's everything that the PS PS Two could have been. Um, but this is what a lot of people uh, didn't like about it. So here's the Xbox controller. Uh, so DVD display, uh, skip, stop, you know, so you got all the, it's actually more minimal if you ask me. Uh, select and, you know. Um, so yeah, this, the reason why this didn't sell well, cost 30 bucks. I'm not sure what the MSRP is on the PlayStation, but this cost 30 bucks. And I got this because um, I was living, I moved out of my parents' house and got it into a travel trailer. So I got this remote because I bought an Xbox off my buddy and I uh, wanted to watch DVDs, but I didn't want to have to have, you know, when you're living in a travel trailer, you don't want to have to have a, uh, you know, another component. It, you know, you just don't have room for it. Um, and. It needed that, which uh, coincidentally plugs right into here. So, yeah. So, yeah, so 30 bucks just to basically buy a gimmick. And if you wanted the visuals on the DVD, um, or not DVD, but the uh, MP3 player on the original Xbox, you had to get this. And that was another reason why I bought it, because I wanted the uh, visuals when I played my audio, when I ripped my audio music to the hard drive. And then out came uh, 
this is a PlayStation 3 remote control. And this one has a lot, as you can tell, a lot of wear and tear on it. Uh, that might have said something in the middle. Um, Bluetooth. Um, it takes uh, AA batteries. As you can tell, the bottom's rubbed off. Because I, I, you know, I bought a PS3, actually, to play Blu-rays. Because it was $50 more than an actual Blu-ray player at the time. That's right, kids. Uh, Blu-ray players at the time were like 300 bucks in the PlayStation 3 when I bought it, the fat model, when it got cheaper. Um, the 40 gig fat model was like 350 bucks. So yeah, and then I bought this remote for 20. So not a bad deal. I think I paid, no, I think it was 30, but it was a long time ago. And yeah, I mean, you know, you could turn on your PS3 with this. It's Bluetooth, so I can accidentally turn on my PS3. Um, which reminds me, I should probably check it. Um, and then, I already did a review on this. I got one for the PS4. I said, why not? Uh, you could program this for your television to turn it on. Um, you know, pause play button. But this is kind of the uh, evolution of the PlayStation controls. So... Very cool, and I thought it would be a cool video to, to do it on. You know, I was going to do an unboxing, but I got a couple months ago. You know, it comes with a, a manual. Um, you know, I was in French, and you know, here's the American, U.S., um, English, you know. Um, yeah, I don't know if you could program this. Pretty much bought it because it was cheap and it was new. You know, I got the original batteries. First thing I did was test the batteries. There's the uh, model number. Um, styling. So, yeah, it's kind of cool, you know. I, I never thought I would get one, but... Yeah, there's the controls. And I guess, I, you know, I also have one for the Xbox 360. That one was way better because you got an IR sensor built, built on a Xbox 360. So, why not? So, yeah, this video is approaching 10 minutes. I'm shooting this on my phone, as you can't tell. And, uh, or as you can tell. But, uh, yeah, rate, comment, subscribe. Um, you know, I put out a lot of content, and I don't have enough uh, subscribers to show that. So, if you like videos like this, definitely uh, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And uh, that way you won't miss out any videos, because I just put them out random. And I might do one a week, one a month. I might do... Two or three weeks so i try to do as many videos as possible but thanks for watching have a good one